Today, I made this. Same thing, use my box joint jig. This is my solar wax melter. So you can see it's painted black on the inside. And I'll get a piece of uh, plexiglass off of my lathe enclosure I can pull out temporarily. You can see the uh, handles. Very simple to make with a dado blade. So, here is my solar wax melter. I'm going to set it on the roof. My roof have, has a pitch about like you see. I have a little roasting pan in here with a little piece of paper towel. And I added this stick here to keep my door from sliding off. This door I just took off of my lathe enclosure. So it will set on here like this. And I'll tape it. I don't even know if I need to tape. I'll tape it on there in case the wind catches it. But uh, that'll be my solar wax melter. Now, for... Oops, sorry. For the wax, this is. I'm going to try this one first. I'm going to set that in there. That's a um, abandoned hive. I found a wild hive that was in uh, a friend's property. So I'm going to put that in there and see how that melts out. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, might have missed to mention this is number eight hardware cloth. Same stuff used in beehive. It's going to hold the wax up off of the wax melter. Now, excuse the video. Okay. There's my wax and extra pieces. Okay, there's all my wax on the melter. Now the cover's installed. I tape the sides in case the wind picks up. I don't want it to blow away. And we'll just see what happens. I'll come back, leave it in all day, come back tonight, or uh, probably have to be tonight, tomorrow after work. See what happens. Okay, here's the solar wax melter. Currently, you can see it's 170 degrees inside. It's look like it looks like most of the wax has melted out of the comb, and what's left are the little bitty sleeves that are in each cell when the uh, when each larvae emerges they leave a little thin shell and after a while those shells get thicker and thicker until you end up with dark comb and they get smaller and smaller in diameter but you can see the wax that's gone down to the side and through the through the napkin or paper towel Hopefully we have nice clean wax on the inside. Here we go. I'm going to lift the lid off of the solar melter. Lift it down. Okay, now, hmm, Let's see if I can do this. Okay, this is what's left of the wax comb. See, uh, just like uh, papery substance, no wax left in it. Just my screen had the wax on it. Throw this away. Okay, this is all the wax that was left in that 
comb. Not very much. That was mostly uh, kind of a papery uh, stuff left over from the from the bees as they emerge from the cells. Okay, this is what's left of the wax from the wax solar wax melter. Completely clean, no debris or anything. So the paper towel filters all that out.